Hello, it's Ron back here with on Ron's YouTube channel with another, um, you know, kind of uh, unboxing and first look at a new product, the drone accessory actually for the um, uh, the DJI um, RC Pro controller. It's a, uh, you know, a sunscreen uh, to help with, you know, um, the, the, the reflections and the washout you get from a, a lot of sun. It's a little picture in the back here how it uh, goes on there too. But um, you, as you all know, the um, RC Pro is a thousand nits, so it's a pretty bright screen. You know, but there are times when it's really extremely bright outside uh, during the you know middle of the day on, on extremely clear sky days, and, and especially in the summertime. We're coming out of summer now here in the U.S. But um, we're gonna unbox this and uh, you know kind of set up on the controller and see how easy it is the you know the, the put on how quickly it is. A lot of these products like this. Um, you know, uh, it all depends on how quick you could deploy them. I mean, no matter how good a product is, if it takes you a lot of fiddling around to, you know, to get something set up uh, before you fly, uh, you, you know, you have to weigh that against uh, the time you need to set up against, you know, how quick you want to get up in the air. So let's come back with a uh, full unboxing and we'll try to set up on a product. And then, uh, you know, maybe at some point we'll get in the field and use it, but uh, yeah, maybe not. Cause you know, these, those tests are useless. Uh, you know, I can never show you on the field on a second camera, how, how bright it really looks to my eyes being there. But anyhow, uh, we'll be right back. Stay, stay there. Don't go anywhere, folks. So, okay, we're back here with the sunshade for the DJI RC Pro. It's from our uh, friends over at Start RC. Um, I've reviewed a lot of their products in the past. Uh, some I might have purchased and, and some may have sent to me. This was sent to me free for, um, you know, the uh, the demo here, the unboxing and, and, and first look. Uh, but they are not paying me. I'm not sponsored you know, in any ways outside of receiving the product. So, um, okay, I've already cut the, the tape off up top here. And again, it's very similar to all the Start RC boxing. And the box is, you know, it's got something in the front and the back here. And again, here it shows uh, somebody using it in the field there on the RC Pro. And uh, here's, you know, the uh, barcode. And here it's telling it was made in, you know, it was made in China. If that, you know, means anything to you. So, okay, let's get right into it here. It shouldn't be a very complicated unboxing here all righty seems like uh, this is the way okay there we go nothing else in the box we'll put that box you know to the side right now here and here is here's how it's packaged uh, you know the bottom looks like so we're gonna it's got like a little pool thing here so we're gonna pull from there and pull it out um, piece of foam here but uh here's the mechanism but it does look like we have something else in here it looks like we have a couple um little knobs here to pull out all right so that looks like everything in the uh in the packaging here so we'll kind of put this out of the way over here again we'll kind of get all this stuff you know on the floor out of the way here here we get some instructions here on how to install it got a picture guide here um, let's see here we got here's uh, this looks like the uh, Chinese guide and here looks like the English guide here um, so we're gonna read this over and uh, we're gonna come back and install it here so I'm gonna take a few minutes to read it over and then we'll we'll, we'll come back I've got so. it I got it installed it only took a few minutes uh, I know it's it's hard to see because it's, it's you know it's so dark and <laughs> this black object in this room but uh, you can see um, how how it's on there um, and I'm gonna you know I, I you know I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to put on by deconstructing it you know uh, rather than putting ones that I already have it on we're gonna deconstruct it here uh, yeah so as you can see here I'm gonna hold it to the side like if you're out in the field I mean you really have uh, you know you have to get the flaps there you got this top piece here I mean you know, you, you can already tell you're going to be able to see the screen a lot better if you're out in bright sunlight. And, you know, this thousand nit with this uh, sunscreen is probably going to be a pretty good setup. But we're going to try it in the field, of course, eventually here. I'm uh, I'm in the midst of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the after effects of Hurricane Ian here. So the sun hasn't been out in days here. So you wouldn't need any type of device like this right now. You couldn't even fly because it's raining. But we will get out in some bright sunlight and see how it does in the field. But, okay, just so, you know, I can show you the setup on this thing you saw it, it came with the two thumb sub thumb screws that go in a place where we usually put your lantern in. and the nice thing is look they gave you 
you know, since they take your lanyard holes up, they gave you two nice little, um, you know, things here where you could put your lanyard uh, clips in here rather than down here. So that's nice. So you can still use a, a lanyard with this. So I like that right now. Can you, can you, yeah, you can see them now. One and then the second one over here for, for your lanyard, you know, since these do take the place of it. Okay, so um, the for the deconstruction here, what's... Uh, you know, let's take the thumbnail screws out here. You see how that, you know, the, uh, again, that plastic plate goes all around the screen here and then the housing goes in the back. We're gonna show you the back as soon as we get these thumb thumb screws off here. So, they, they went in easily. And they seem to have a, you know, a nice grip here on, you know, this, this part where I'm on right now for your fingers. So it's easy to turn, easy to get on and off. So you see that's already sprung up there. Now in the back, it has a piece here that goes underneath the area where your um, your sticks go. Uh, so I'm going to pull that off right now by relieving a little pressure here. And I'm going to, uh, you know, before I do that, I'm going to I'm going to deconstruct this up here. It's got Velcro on the sides here, so we're going to release the Velcro, and then we're going to um, kind of punch them back here for a second. Because we've got our, you know, ante antennae back here that we have to deal with. So I'm going to put the antenna down. It's always hard to show you all this stuff here. So we're going to, just to get these antennas out of the way, we're going to kind of aim them uh, downwards here. We're just going to take this piece off here. So you can see a little bit better how that clips underneath there. Okay, so it clips right in that piece there where the thumbsticks go. Okay, so then this just comes right off. Be careful not to hit your sticks. That's all in one piece. So, um, yeah, uh, it's just as quick to get on as it was off there. Um, I just started by, um, you know, getting the, the thumb screws in there, getting that part in, and then forcing it down, down here. And you may wonder about the, uh, you know, the, the sticks there. I'm using a third party sticks here. These are sticks that actually, I think they actually meant for the DJI FPV uh, drone, but it has the same type of, uh, you know, uh, connectors there, so you could put them when they're a little bit higher than, uh, you know, the uh, standard one. So I'll put a link in there if you're interested. And there's, I have a whole video on on, on these sticks that I, I did a couple months back. So, uh, but anyhow, I know people always ask when they see these sticks on there, so they are third-party sticks. So anyhow, um, you know, uh, that's it. You know, this can fold down, uh, you know, pretty good here. You know, for, Trent, for uh, uh, you know, moving around there, so you gotta, gotta fold it down. You know, pretty good. I mean, it's going to take, you know, it's going to take room up in a bag, of course. That's the downside. It will take, uh, you know, some room up. So if you have a real small bag, uh, you know, you may have to transport this in a third-party bag or, or move up to a bigger bag. So, you know, th there is that. But uh, otherwise, it doesn't seem to be much of a downside. It installs quickly, removes quickly, and... Um, you know, again, it should provide a, a lot of extra protection for the screen. Again, I haven't been able to test it because I don't have any sun right now, but I will get out there shortly. So, um, you know what? I got another uh, idea here. I wonder if it would fit the, uh, you know, the DJI, uh, DJI RC. Um, you know, the new one that was came out, this controller with the screen. I hate to say it's smart controller, but um, baby smart controller that, that came out at the same time in May 3. I wonder if it would fit on here. So uh, let's uh, let's try that and see how that works out. Um, yeah, I've tried this, um, you know, the the sunscreen with the um, DJRC, and you know why it won't work? It needs uh, you know it needs the, something to catch on back here, and there's no ridge like on the um, RC Pro for it to catch on to, so it will not work. Uh, you know, it on here with the um, DJR so Pro Control. It would have worked otherwise because it, it matches up down here and the screen size is the same. So everything would have worked except for the fact that I don't have anything for it to, to grip on the back here. So that's a shame, you know, um, if it had just been a, you know, uh, a, a, a kind of a edge or a ledge here that the uh, RC uh, Pro had, it would work, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't. So hopefully I will, I will contact my... Um, you know, uh, my uh, man at, uh, my person at uh, Sardar RC and see if they can, um, you know, maybe, 
go into the development of a um, sunscreen for the RC Pro because I think that would be that would even be very helpful because this only has 700 nits, so this is harder to see in the bright sunlight than the RC Pro over there. So um, yeah, I hope that's something they they have in development, and if they do, I will try to get one here on the channel for uh, review. All right, folks, so that wraps up the uh, unboxing, the first look, and setup of the sunshade for the DJ RC Pro. And uh, I just want to get to the most important part here. Um, we have, uh, it's, we can get it on Amazon.com. Uh, if you have a pro, if you're a Prime member, you get two days through shipping and uh, it sells for $23.99. And I will leave a link down below where you can order it from. And I am an Amazon affiliate seller, so I get a small commission off anything you purchase off this link. So it's a good way to help the channel out doesn't cost you anything uh, more. So um, don't if you got anything out of this video, leave a thumbs up. If you uh, aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel for you know a lot of a lot of drone and tech uh, um, you know information. Uh, ring the notification bell so you'll uh, know when I put up a new video. And um, you know that that's about it today, folks. Oh, one more thing, they do have a thanks button on uh on youtube uh now where you can you know uh contribute a little money to the creator buy buy so you know pumpkin spice latte now we're going to the fall you know you can contribute as little as a dollar 99 at least get me a small you know uh, uh pumpkin spice so uh please you know consider that way helping out the channel and, uh, and seriously any any money given will just be me buying more products to review and talk about on the channel so okay folks uh that's about it for today uh, if you got a drone, go fly and grab some great footage and we'll see you in the next one.